If you have ADHD, you're also likely sensitive to histamine. Hi, my name is Annika. I'm an nutritional mental health practitioner with Masters in Health Psychology, and I help people learn how to use food to improve their mental health. So I was a little misleading. People with ADHD aren't really that sensitive to histamine. It's more that their bodies don't produce enough of something called DAO or diamine oxidase. And diamine oxidase is the thing that actually breaks down the histamine that we ingest. So histamine is a good thing, but it has some inflammatory properties if our bodies don't break enough of it down. And a lot of y'all know that ADHD is exacerbated by inflammation. But the trick here is that since we're consuming about the same amount of histamines as like the general population, the problem is more not having enough DAO. So how do we make sure that we're releasing more DAO? We eat foods that are high in omega-3s, phosphorus, iron, calcium, magnesium, and vitamin B12. All of those help release DAO so that they can help regulate our histamine. Yes, you can decrease your histamine intake, but that's not actually solving the real problem. So what are some foods that are high in these? There's a lot. But if you want to get ones that encompass a lot of those at the same time, fortified bran flakes, cocoa powder, dark green vegetables, lentils, chia seeds, and almond milk. Try incorporating more of these into your diet at least one a day. And after a few weeks, your ADHD symptoms are probably going to decrease in severity.